before I get into this video, I just want to say a huge thank you guys for your support on literally my first ever YouTube video on this channel. It kind of blew up in a way I didn't expect, so I really appreciate every single one of you who liked, commented, shared, subscribed from this video. And today I'm here to bring you a kind of part two, but this time I'm going to be using a curly hair wig. So just as the previous video, I'm going to show you how to get your synthetic wigs tangle free for good and I mean at least two plus years. The curly wig I'm going to be using today, yes it's curly, I know it looks a bit wavy but I originally bought this wig as a curly wig, I'll link it below, it's from Amazon. It's a curly synthetic wig and because I've worn it quite a few times and it's got a bit matted, it's lost its curl and it's lost its bounce. So today I'm going to try and get those curls back and make it tangle free. So of course the only two things you need to make your synthetic wig tangle free is number one shearing scissors or thinning scissors and number two a hairbrush. So I'm going to be working in sections, I grab a section, I brush out the tangles as much as possible and then I will go in with my thinning scissors and make four to six cuts along the length of the hair. Obviously this will vary depending on how long the hair is and how thick of a section you part. Then once I've made my cuts, I go back in with the brush to brush off the excess hair we have just cut. Once I've cut all the brushed hair, I then twist the hair just to keep it out of the way and then work on the next section. Two of the main questions I got from my previous video were can you do this on curly hair and does this make the wig thinner? So as for the curly hair question, I'm trying to answer that in this video and so far yes you can do it on curly hair but as you can see as you brush the hair it does brush out the curls depending on how new or old your wig. I think if I did this technique when my hair was brand new the curls would have stayed in longer but because I've worn this wig so many times without doing this technique it's just become a bit old and you used so it's brushed away most of the curls it just looks a bit wavy now so if you're doing this on a curly wig i would advise doing it when it's super brand new as for the question of whether this thins your wig out it really depends on how much you're cutting if you cut a lot of hair then yes it will thin out a lot but if you're just making a few cuts on each section then i don't think it's going to make your synthetic wig that much thinner Okay, so once you've worked your way through most of the wig, this is what the wig should be looking like. And I'm just going to finish off the final parts at the front, doing the exact same thing, cutting through sections with the shearing scissors and brushing it out. Remember guys, the key thing here is that we want to make specific breaks throughout the hair. Because with synthetic hair, the strands are straight all the way through and they don't have those natural breaks that our natural hair has, so it tangles super easily. But by cutting them in these sections with the shearing scissors, we create those natural breaks and it brushes through smoothly. Okay, so we're nearly there guys. Once I finish cutting the hair, I untwist all those twists and then brush through with my fingers, then go in with the brush just to make sure my wig is tangle free and to show you guys how my wig now brushes through seamlessly.
honestly guys this is so satisfying i don't know why i didn't do this sooner with the wig i just got so excited to wear it every day that time just got away with me and i didn't do this trick on it but i finally did and brushing through so smoothly and so softly Okay, so as for the curls, if you want really loose curls, you could just finger twist the hair and try and get that natural wavy look. But I did mention that this wig out of the box was super curly. So I did go in with my curlers and curl this wig back to the way it was. This wig is heat resistant and I do advise not using too much heat on your wigs. This is probably the first and the last time I'm going to use heat on this wig. But yes, I had to go back in to put the curls back just so I can show you that this can be done on curly wigs if you're willing to put heat on them. So yeah guys this is the end of the video this is me with the wig on my head and as you can see it comes through easily just with my fingers. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!